Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Yaqub and I am from Lahore, Pakistan and I teach IELTS here. Uh, well, this is the third video of IELTS reading series and we are solving a test. The type of questions which we are going to do right now that is no more than two words and this is actually flowchart completion type of questions. Now I'm going to tell you how to complete the flowchart. What is it that uh, you need to consider that you need to keep in mind while solving the flow chart? So we'll be solving this type of questions and after this you should try to take one complete test with flow chart uh, especially and then you got to see what techniques I used in my test and you got to apply the same techniques there and obviously behind every technique it's your ability to understand English. Now let's go to the handout and we start with the flow chart. Let's solve the test now. Okay, now let's take a start with a flow chart. So this is a flow chart and no more than two words. So be careful. Flow chart with no more than two words. Procedure for border crossing before setting off. There are three parts, four parts and there is no question here. So we don't need to read that. Before setting off means your journey. Before arriving at the border, that's second and at the border. Now questions and passage, they are going to be in the same order. So to speed up the border crossing, use PAPS. We need to scan PAPS and after that, for this, send your dash. Now you need to send your something which belongs to you. Send your dash details. Now these are the details. Send your passport details, ID details like that and current vehicle inspection document. Now two things. One is your dash detail and second is something related to your vehicle. Now let's just take a start. We see where is PAPS and then we read ahead. Okay, I need to see PAPS. Okay, I don't see PAPS here. Uh, all right, all right, this information. Uh, border crossing guide okay yeah primary inspection yeah this is PAPS okay that's right now let me see uh, let's read from the uh, when using this you need to provide information about your shipment okay after PAPS see my technique was good now I didn't read this much see this saved me the time if I start reading from here then this will take one minute and then I'll have less time I directly came here after PAPS. When using this, you need to provide information about your dash and you also need to spend proof of a current annual inspection for your vehicle. Now this is one thing until here and after and this is the second thing. This is already given. My answer is here. Okay, again they said when using this, you need to provide information about your shipment, information about your shipment and say for this, send your shipment details information and details see that what sort of a link it is right so the answer is shipment your shipment details okay now let's go on before arriving at the border check that documents such as now such as means eg for example and birth certificate. Now birth certificate is given, passport is given, are ready for inspection. Birth certificate, passport, they are given. Now what is it? That is a document and you need to write about that. Okay. Now this time we are going to go through before arriving at the border. There we might find it. Okay. Uh, all right. We did until here. Before you arrive. Yes, that's easy. It means the answer is here somewhere. Before you arrive at the border, make sure you have all your paperwork. Okay. Paperwork means that documents up to date and ready to present uh, at primary inspection. Okay. You will need a photo ID. This is one thing. In addition to your birth certificate, this is mentioned. Passport is already mentioned. So it's basically you will need a photo ID in addition to your birth certificate or passport. Now let's go back to the question. Check the documents such as birth certificate, passport are ready for inspection. So it's actually photo ID. Right? See that? Photo ID in addition to your... Now this is already given so I don't need to write this. 
Okay, let's go on. The next one is make sure the dash. Again, there is something. Make sure the dash. It can be a noun. Make sure the dash are on inside the vehicle. Dash are on. On means turn on, switch on. Inside the vehicle. Now, there is something which you need to switch on inside the vehicle. For vehicle, they can use any type of vehicle and they make sure the dash are on. Dash are on. It can be the lights or anything, but I don't know. Let's see. So, we got to read ahead. Drivers must also turn on interior cab lights. Aha! Wow, wow. I can even solve it without reading the passage. Drivers must also, for must, they have used make sure. Turn on interior cab lights. For turn on, they have only used on. Now, if I write interior cab lights, it's going to be three words. Whereas, I need to write two words for my answer. So, that's why the answer is going to be cab lights. Right? They say make sure the cab lights are on. Cab can be an optional word, but lights must be there because you know it's a plural noun. And if you write light and it's written are here, then your answer will be wrong. So make sure the for make sure they use the word drivers must and are on for on they use the word turn on. You can see here turn on interior cab lights. So we were not allowed to write three words. That's why interior is not necessary, but cab lights are necessary. Even if you write only lights, that is correct. Okay, yeah, I'm enjoying a lot. Check that the, now you need to check something. Check that the dash in the vehicle can be easily seen. Okay, what is it that is inside the vehicle and that it can be seen easily? Check that the dash in the vehicle can be easily seen, visible or can be seen easily and all that. So, let's go on uh, and open all interior drapes or blinds to sleeper areas for easy inspection. Wow, wow, easy inspection and for easy inspection we have easily seen, okay. Vehicle can be easily, now what is it? Check that the dash in the vehicle, what is that? Dash in the vehicle, the answer is here. Cab lights and open all interior drapes or blinders to sleeper areas for easy inspection. Two sleeper areas. The name of the area is sleeper areas for easy inspection. Easy inspection of what? Easy inspection of sleeper areas. Two sleeper areas for easy inspection. So easy inspection of sleeper areas and what's the question? Check that the sleeper areas in the vehicle can be easily seen. So the answer is sleeper areas. All right, sleeper areas. Now, do you understand? I mean, for easily seen, they've used the word inspection, vehicle, and all that. Check that. For check that, what have they used? Uh, for check that, they say open all interior drapes or blinds to sleeper areas for easy inspection. I mean, this is what IELTS reading is all about. If you know these techniques, then reading is not a problem. Let's go on. At the border, primary inspection. This may be the only stop if paperwork is in order. Non-US Canadian citizens must have a visa. Okay, and go to the dash. The first thing, they must have a visa and then they go to the dash area. It's the name of the area to complete an I-94 card. Now, I-94 card is the clue. There is a small dash. So, two questions are there for this. There is a small booth or window and all that and to receive verbal clearance. Now, let's see. They are first, we are, we are going to see where they talk about non-US Canadi uh, Canadian citizens must have a visa and go to the dash. You need to go to someone, go to or visit or something like that they can use. Okay, yes, I found here Canadian US citizen. Now, I'm going to read from here. Now, I did not read this line. It also saved me some time. If you're not a Canadian or US citizen, a visa is obligatory. Okay, 
that is obligatory and you will also be required to complete an I-94 card. Okay, I-94 cards are available only at border crossing into the United States. So they are available at border crossing into the United States. Drivers who clear customs at primary inspection will be instructed to report to report or to go to immigration yeah to report or to go to immigration to fill out the i-94 card now what is it the question is non-us canadian citizens must have a visa and go to the dash area to complete an i-94 card to go to the see here immigration to fill out i-94 card to report to report means to go to to report to to go to so the answer is immigration <laughs> that's not a problem immigration okay all right now let's go on we've got the last question there is a small dash for this i-94 card there is a small dash for this small is good word and to receive verbal clearance now let's read ahead immigration to fill out and receive verbal clearance from a u.s official to proceed into the united states okay the charge for the i-94 card is six dollar the answer is here i'm sure the answer is here now what are they saying there is a small dash for this there is a small dash for this now for small they have written six dollar now what is six dollar six dollar is a small amount right and they're saying there is a small what charge there is a small charge see the link this is what i want you guys to learn i mean otherwise you'll be looking for the word small and all that that small amount is basically small and charge is here so the answer is there is a small charge for this and to receive verbal clearance right so this is how we do it this was a tricky test but we did it all I want you to do it in the same way. All the best. Welcome back. So this is how you need to complete flow chart whenever you get this. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. I deserve it now, huh? Okay. And I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, you can contact me for that. Asad Yaakov wishes you all the best with your IELTS reading, with your IELTS preparation, and I wish you your required bench score in advance right now. Take good care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.